Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a super special outfits of the week because this week is red ribbon week and we are doing all sorts of dressing up. Also at the end, I'm sharing my two different Halloween costumes. Um, we had a lot of dress up days in October. So the first day of red ribbon week was just a red day. We're just supposed to wear red shirts, but of course, you know, why wear a red shirt when you can wear a completely red outfit? So I went with this super fun red dress that is from White House Black Market. I got it super crazy on sale at the outlet store. It was originally like $150 and I think I got it for about $15. Um, it's really nice. It was still quite warm here in Georgia, like 80 something degrees this week um, but the sleeves are super thin so it was fine and I love the shape of it it's like form-fitting enough that it makes you look good but not so tight that you feel uncomfortable um, just really nice it looks straight looks very professional I love the color and just the really fun little pattern I wore the same watch that I always wear and then I really didn't wear much in terms of jewelry honestly I have these little Kate Spade earrings I wear all the time. You can get them on Amazon. I'll link them down below. They're just like these clear ones and they're super fun for when I don't really know what to wear. And then this is a little opal necklace that I got for graduation and I'm wearing today because, you know, October opals and also tomorrow's my birthday and opals are my birthstone. For shoes, I'm wearing these shoes that I tell the kids are my fairy shoes. They are red and pointy with little scallops and I absolutely adore them. They're from Johnson & Murphy and I got them a really long time ago and I seriously wish that I had gotten them in every single color because I love them that much. I wear them that much. They're just so much fun, but I only have them in this one color, so now we know. Here's a nice final look at my red ribbon week day outfit. Tuesday was a crazy soft day and it was also my birthday. So this outfit is not something I would normally wear because you know, crazy socks, it does look a little strange, but it was fun for crazy sock day. Um, because it is crazy sock day, I'm going to actually start by showing you my socks after I do my nice little turnaround. Here you go. So these socks are from J. Crew. They have little camels on them and they are just so much fun, super random that they were again quite fun. Um, and I wore them with these black ankle boots that I got either last year or the year before and I wear to death. They are so stinky comfy. Um, I love the blue in these socks. It matches my skirt perfectly, which you'll see when I zoom out. And then here I'm showing you a way that you can actually wear these and not look super, super weird. Um, they actually look fairly normal and kind of fun when you just scrunch them down like this. This is how I wore them that night when I went to choir practice after school. But this is how I wore them at school because, you know, crazy sock day. For the rest of my outfit, I'm wearing a blue scalloped sidewalk skirt. These are from J. Crew, and I have ooh, five of them. And like, I have red and khaki, and like a wool looking one, and this one, like a pattern one. Y'all, I love, love, love these skirts. They're super comfy. They have pockets, and they are just like wonderful and match everything. For a shirt, I went with this one also from White House Black Market. It's a sweater and it is sleeveless, which is wonderful if you live somewhere hot like Georgia, but you still want to be able to wear sweaters. And it's actually a tunic length, so I wouldn't normally wear it with a skirt, but I did this day. I don't know that I'm totally in love with it, but it was fun. Um, it goes pretty long. You could totally wear it with leggings if you wanted. And then I'm wearing this black sweater that I got from Target quite a while ago. I think it's the Morona brand. Um, but they still have either the same one or very similar ones. And it does have functional buttons if you wanted to button it. Upon looking, I probably would have buttoned the one below it, but I did not put wear it buttoned at all, so it doesn't really matter. I wore the same watch I always wear, and then this is a Pura Vita bracelet. I think this one's called like Arctic Edge or Arctic Wave or something with Arctic in it because it's blue and it's super fun. I'll link that below along with my coupon code. 
for earrings, I wore these rose gold um, bow earrings because it was my birthday, so I thought that would be very festive. They're Kate Spade and they are available on Amazon. Since it is my birthday, I ate quite a few of these Spice Cake cupcakes that I had to make for myself because apparently when you get old, you gotta make your own cupcakes. But I had a pretty good day anyway. Wednesday was Be Smart, Don't Smart, Dress Like a Scientist Day. So I went with as scientist-y as I could think without, you know, getting a weird wig. Kind of looked like I might need to be on Grey's Anatomy, but you know. Um, this jacket is actually from Amazon. It was well, like $13, $14, something like that. There were a ton in the like $10 to $20 range. It's definitely not the best quality. And if I was actually like a scientist or medical professional, I probably wouldn't want to wear it every day. But for a costume, it worked pretty stinking well. This shirt is from White House Black Market. I am rocking their stuff this week. Um, and I love it because it all of their suit wear is super stretchy, so it feels so good. It's not stifling, it's not hard to move in. It's just burgundy and buttoned down, and it looks like it's made for a woman and not a man, which is helpful. These pants are from Van Heusen. They are literally the only work pants that I own at the moment, and they're super comfy and stretchy, and I love them. Here's a better look at this coat. I did have to steam it, it was really wrinkly and I forgot to get those sleeves, so there is a really bad crease in them, but it's okay. Um, I put a bunch of pens and highlighters in the pockets. These are actually my friction pens. If you've never heard of friction pens, they're pens that you can actually erase and it is magical. So definitely check those out. I will link those down below. I have been in love since I got them. Didn't wear much jewelry because I figured scientists probably don't wear that much jewelry. So there's that. Same watch I always wear. And then um, these are little wave earrings from Pura Vida. You can get 20% off if you use the link that I have it down below. I wear these earrings all the time. And I have scientist earrings. We will need to work on that for next year. These shoes are from Payless. Um, our Payless went out of business. I don't know if that was just ours or if it was all of them, but I got these for like seven bucks when they were going out of business and they are so comfy. They have like holes in them, so they have a lot of air coming through and they're very cushy on the bottom. And I figured that scientists probably wear sentosable shoes. Here's what it looks like for this shirt without the jacket. I love that it is three quarters lengths because again, I live in Georgia and it's hot here, but even you can see it still looks pretty good just as far as the shape goes and everything. But I actually did wear the jacket the whole day. Checking to make sure that my um, lapel got didn't get messed up and it did so I'm trying to fix that right here on Thursday my video got really messed up so I'm not sure what happened but it just wouldn't work when I got it on the computer so I ended up putting pictures up and of course Thursday was character day so it was the best day so it was of course the worst day to miss the video. I dressed up like who else? Mary Poppins and this was super fun. I actually didn't buy any of this stuff. This skirt is from Amazon. It is wonderful. I'll link it down below. This blazer is from White House Black Market because again I absolutely adore them. Shirt is also from there. The bow ties my husband's. The um, hat I actually already had. It's from a guy named Dirty Billy, which I will link down below. And this little sign here is from um, Hobby Lobby. The umbrella that I was using a second ago is not black and it does not have a bird as the handle, but it does have Singing in the Rain printed on it, so I figured that's pretty good. My costume was a huge hit and most of the kids actually did know what it was. I did carry around the Mary Poppins picture book, which I will also link down below in case you want to pick that up. On Friday, I went with super, super comfy and so I'm wearing this just blue, navy blue dress that is 100% from Goodwill. <laughs> it's a little like sundress with a little ruffle on the top, but it's cute. And then I wore this sweater that is like my absolute favorite new one it is from amazon it's color blocked it's so 
so comfy. It looks so high quality. Actually, one of my assistant principal, she told me it looked like J. Crew quality. It looked that good, and I completely agree. It comes in a couple of different colors, and I'm really wanting to get a second one, but I probably don't need to. <laughs> It has pockets on the front, which is wonderful, and it's a really good length, especially if you want to wear it with like leggings, especially on those chilly days. Today was actually not very chilly, but you know, there we go. I'm not sure that I totally love this particular dress with this particular sweater, but you know, whatever, it's all good. <laughs> For jewelry, I have these little leaf earrings that I got from Old Navy. And then I'm wearing this like navy blue sapphire necklace that I got for Christmas a few years ago. If you notice, I did start putting my lipstick on before I left so that you can actually see what I look like most of the day. And then I still have my same watch as always. And y'all, I did not do much jewelry this week. I was like, uh, I just, with all the dress up, that was as much, much as I could do. For shoes, I wore these that I got from Marshalls. I really like them. They're super cute. They are still rubbing my toes a little bit, but hopefully that will be gone soon. The heel is really nice. It's only like two inches and it's sturdy and the suede will hopefully get broken in pretty soon. And I love that it is perforated so we get lots of airflow. It's kind of like, I want it to look like it's fall, but it really feels like it's still summer. And that's how I feel about these shoes. Here's a final look. Now, normally I would stop on Friday, obviously, because it's a week of outfits, but I wanted to include some pictures of some Halloween costumes that I <laughs> did the week after this because, you know, I figured why not? So I'm actually gonna keep going just a little bit longer. For all of these dress up days, by the way, the only thing I bought was the scientist coat and the only reason I bought it was because we also had this last week and so I figured it was probably a good last week, last year, and it was probably a good purchase. All of this stuff for Mary Poppins and all this stuff for here I already had. So on Tuesday after that, we had a fall festival and I went as a butterfly so I just wore this black t-shirt dress. These wings I actually got, my mom made them for me in second grade and she has worn them for every Halloween since then because she was like, I spent so much time on these. I just can't get rid of them. And then I made little antennas out of just like pipe cleaners stuck onto my headband. So this was really simple, but really fun. And you could totally buy some butterfly wings off of Amazon and replicate this. It'd be really fun if your kids were learning about like monarch butterflies and you've got like monarch wings. I'll see what I can find down below. Here's a close up. My mom did such a wonderful job such a long time ago on these. Then for actual Halloween, I dressed up as Pete the Cat from his four groovy buttons. This was again something I didn't buy anything for this outfit. I'm just wearing a yellow blazer, a blue t shirt from Target blue jeans. I'm wearing red shoes, which you can't see in any of these pictures. Um, and then I use construction paper to make buttons, which I safety pinned on and to make little ears to go on actually the same had been from yesterday. And then I used eyeliner to make little cat nose and whiskers on me. I didn't have this book. So I actually printed out the cover of the book and paper clipped it onto another book. So the kids would know who I was and most of them knew without watching. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this, please make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and have a wonderful, wonderful week.